Hello children, welcome to your maths class. In the topic of time, we have already learned how to convert minutes to seconds and hours to minutes and vice versa. Let's once revise the units of time, year, week, month, hour, minute, day, second. All these are different units of time in which we can express time. In this video, we will learn converting units of time from week to days and years to months and vice versa. One week is equal to seven days. One year is equal to 12 months. The conversion rule remains the same. Larger to smaller unit, we multiply and smaller to larger unit, we divide. And the values here with which we are dividing or multiplying is when we convert weeks to days, we multiply by 7 and when we convert from days to weeks, we divide by 7. Similarly, when we convert from year to months, we multiply by 12 and when we convert from months to years, we divide by 12. Let's make it more clear with some examples. Here, we have to convert 4 weeks into days. Now, 1 week is equal to 7 days. So, multiplying 4 by 7 will give us 28. That means, 4 weeks is equal to 28 days. Second example, 9 weeks, 3 days into days. 1 week is equal to 7 days. Here, 3 days are already in days, so we will not convert it. We will convert 9 weeks and add 3 to it. Like this. 9 into 7 plus 3. 9 7s are 63 plus 3 will give us 66. So that means 9 weeks, 3 days is equal to 66 days. Eighty-four days into weeks. Now we are moving from smaller unit to bigger unit. That means we have to divide and divide by 7. Eighty-four divided by 7 will give us 12. So 84 days is equal to 12 weeks. Fifty-three days into weeks and days. Again dividing fifty-three by seven. When we divide fifty-three by seven, seven sevens are forty-nine. Fifty-three minus forty-nine will give us four. Now quotient, as I told you in previous video also, will always become the bigger unit in conver uh, conversions and remainder will always be become the smaller unit in conversions. That means here we are converting into weeks and days. So quotient 7 will be weeks and 4 will be days. That means 53 days is equal to 7 weeks and 4 days. Another example 9 years to 12 months. Now we are converting from years to months. 1 year is equal to 12 months. So multiplying 9 by 12 is equal to 108. That means it is 108 months. 4 years 8 months into months. 
8 months is already in months so we will not convert this we will convert 4 years and add 8 to it 4 into 12 plus 8 4 12s are 48 plus 8 is equal to 56 so 4 years 8 months is equal to 56 months reversing now that is months to years and months smaller unit to bigger unit that means we are going to divide by 12 67 divided by 12 when we divide 67 by 12 12 fives are 60 7 is the remainder and 5 is the quotient so 5 will become years and 7 will become months. 5 years, 7 months. 67 months is equal to 5 years, 7 months. I hope the concept of conversions are clear to you. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Do practice sums and you will master the concept. Thank you.